All right, I would steal animals, all uh, things that I mentioned today, but we are in Rome, New York, at the Rome Cemetery. And you can't see it because it's behind those trees over there where we parked, but we're about to see a famous American's grave, uh, famous because every American knows his words. And uh, he might not know the history behind him. So I'm going to pause for a minute while we walk over to a, uh, he was a, Christian socialist. He was a Baptist minister. Uh, he believed in nationalization as a nationalization, uh, as a national health care, national education. Uh, he, w he also believed that science could cure all a man's ills and that Christians should use science to combat poverty and things of that nature. Very interesting fellow. And like I said, every American knows his words. And uh, it may shock a few who don't know who this person is that he was a socialist, since socialism has such a bad connotation to people, but at its core, it just means equality of goods at the very basic. And like I said, he was uh, what was considered a Christian socialist, which the closest we have now is democratic socialist. And I am not going to get into the arguments of the idiosyncrasies of each. It's just an interesting fact of this man. So, and here we come to his, his grave. And very fittingly, the words, the original words are on his grave. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to my flag, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yep, the original words, written by Francis Bellamy, Pledge of Allegiance. Very interesting. Very interesting man. He was not born in Rome, but his family moved to Rome, and when he past. He was buried in the family pot, since, hence the marker. Okay, for some reason I think that quit on me. So um, this is Francis Bellamy's wife. His family's over there. This is Rome Cemetery. Beautiful old cemetery. they got some great receiving houses. Uh, that giant obelisk is not for Bellamy, it's for another local hero. But we're going to take a walk around just to give you some sights and sounds of it. And hopefully this will, my phone won't quit on me again right when I'm in the middle of conversation. Uh, but there's some great uh, videos here. Um, I mean, sorry, great, uh, great history here. There definitely is. Like I, like I said, there are other great monuments here. This one is for W.J.P. Kingsley, M.D., and his wife. It says Georgiana Mano Vogel. And you see it's a huge obelisk. And there's obviously other members of the family buried here as well. It's one of the larger plots. We've got some good, uh, some smaller mausoleums over here, some smaller family plots. It's just a, just a beautiful cemetery. Um, if you come to Rome, definitely swing by and take a look. Parts of this cemetery are very old. Uh, there are other parts that uh, are much newer, but the, more to the front, you'll see a lot of the uh, the older stones. Um, right here, we have a. I believe I don't know if this is a receiving vault for the Harringtons or. It might actually be a mausoleum. Let's see. Oh, I want to get a picture. Oh, I got to get that stained glass. You can see it through the door. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then, of course, I think if we go around, we can see it better. I'm going to go around it. No, I'm not as pretty as in the inside, but that's what it looks like on the outside. Let me take a look at some of the other ones. What? I just want to do a 180 here. Just to give you an example of the variety of stones and monuments that are here. I mean, it's just amazing the different 
interesting history about the yeah. Rome Cemetery. Wasn't it moved? Yes. Uh, originally, it was down where we used to live in Rome. Uh, eh, there's a little park there now called Stanwyck's Park, named after the fort. And the cemetery was there originally. And they moved it out to the location on Jervis Avenue, named after the engineer, Jervis, who is worthy of another vlog. <laughs> Probably will be mentioned uh, when we talk about the Erie Canal as a whole, since he was very instrumental in that. Uh, we got somebody coming this way with a car, so I'm going to put my camera down. Hey. Hey. All right. This is an interesting one. This man's name is Parker Fifth of Scripture. A nurseryman, answers, ask him. Nurseryman, amateur historian, writer. He loved the city of Rome, gave him his time, honor to his heritage. And they built this wonderful huge tower with uh, speakers on it. But behind it is a lovely reflection pool uh, with a fountain and a cute little uh, bench there, which uh, makes this, I think, very nice, very beautiful. Again, I just want to take a view of Amazing amount of monuments. You see the more modern ones over there, the smaller, modest granite stones. Oh. That's why that tower's there. There goes that scripture sounding off. <laughs> oh, we have a ghost. This is just a pretty place, it really is. Okay, hey, here's another interesting part of the graveyard, and I'm being quick because that car that came by, she's kind of chasing us around. I don't know why. Oh, okay. So this is a plot just for the Civil War. Uh, the Civil War soldiers, I thought. These statues were a staple at the time. Yeah. You see where they, uh, the peak of the soldiers Crescent Brim McDowell has been worn away. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, these are... Uh, pretty much standard issue for these. Well, um, I find it very ironic. I'm wearing a Winchester Supernatural t-shirt, and one of the first ones I find is a Winchester. It's kind of... <laughs> kind of ironic. Shooting Confederates, hunting things. <laughs> but, yeah, these are all the... Uh, they either died during the war or after. Uh... This is uh, this is the fireman memorial right next to it. A lot of interesting memorials back in this corner. It's a nice quiet corner, and keep an eye out for that red car because we're probably going over here and start yelling at us for walking through a cemetery quietly. You now, some people see you filming in a cemetery, they immediately think you're up to no good instead of trying to uh, record the history that belongs to without being, um, you know, a jerk about it, but I uh, just wanted you to see all these. Again, much older ones over here. You got, our, you got a lot that uh, they're way, they're faded away. There's no way you can make out the name of that person there. Uh oh. It's still a beautiful cemetery. I gotta, I gotta get to that. Oh. Yeah, we got another car. Okay. So that was our visit to Rome Cemetery. We're about to leave now before that lady, the, the white haired lady in the red car, starts following us again. <laughs> um, I mean, I can understand people being nervous about people going around videotaping and taking pictures of the cemetery, but the same token, if you're not, if you're being respectful, I mean, we weren't even walking on the grounds too much. It's no reason to be freaking out. Except I am wearing this shirt. <laughs> and I think she might have saw that. <laughs> the, <laughs> the star went, oh my god, Satanist! <laughs> so, <laughs> I think we're going to go uh, back to Fulton now. But and we just had to show you a little bit of Rome Cemetery. And especially the famous... Have a good one, folks.